Hey, boys and girls. My name is Mac Comer. I'm Knoxville, Tennessee's Dean of Fun. And today I'm going to read you a book titled An Oak Tree Had the Life Cycle by Deborah Castor. Okay, so while I'm reading, I'm going to be using this little arrow here, moving around to help you follow along with me. Let's go ahead and start reading. Pictures to think about. When you look at this picture, what do you think of? Well, you know what? When I look at that picture, it makes me think of seeds. Look at this picture. What does this picture make you think of? This picture makes me think of, I don't know, maybe a plant growing? I don't know. And when you look at this picture, what does it make you think of? When I look at this picture, it makes me think of the fall time because it looks like there's some pumpkins in there. So let's go ahead and start reading our book. An Oak Tree Has a Life Cycle by Deborah Castor. The table of contents is right here, and that's going to tell you where things are in the book. So words to think about are on page two. The introduction is on page four. Chapter one, a new oak tree begins, begins on chapter or page six. Chapter two, a new oak tree grows on page eight. Chapter three, an old oak tree dies, page 12. The conclusion is on page 14, and glossary and index is on page 16. Let's go ahead and read. Words to think about. Life cycle. An oak tree changes and grows during its life cycle. Take a look at these pictures and that shows you the life cycle of an oak tree. Plants. Many types of plants live on earth. Look at all these different types of plants. Do you recognize any of these plants? I see one I know. Look at that cactus. Roots. Roots usually grow under the ground. This is the picture of some roots and it looks almost like a bunch of white hairs coming out. Kind of like maybe your grandmother or grandfather's head with all the white hairs. <laughs> Anyways, back to the story. Seeds. Most plants begin as seeds. Look at all these different seeds here. Stems. Stems bring water and nutrients to plants. So stems can look very different. And the last word to think about is the word trunk. A tree has a trunk. So the tree trunk is what holds a tree in place. All right, pages four and five, the introduction. All plants have a life cycle or an order in which they change and grow. During the life cycle, a plant grows the parts it needs to stay alive and to make new plants. This right here is, a, is the life cycle of an apple tree. So as you can see, you have the apple that has a seed in it. The seed falls in the ground and grows into a tree eventually, and the tree eventually makes flowers and then the flowers get pollinated and the flowers turn into fruits, which would be the apple. And here's the life cycle of a tomato plant. Once again, it starts as a seed. The seed starts to grow. And there it is growing. Soon it will make flowers. Flowers get pollinated and the flowers turn into tomatoes. Do you know what color tomato flowers are? Tomato flowers are yellow. Now, oak trees have a life cycle. Fully grown oak trees can make new oak trees. Just like this picture, you see the acorn. And then you got the acorn grown into a little sapling. Eventually it grows into a tree. Page six and page seven. Chapter one. A new oak tree begins at first, a fully grown oak tree drops seeds. These seeds are acorns. Animals will eat most of the acorns, but a few acorns will become new oak trees. So if you look at this picture, um, if 
By the way, when you see these pictures, you'll see like these little words underneath it. Then they're called the captions. They tell you what's happening in the picture. Uh, this caption says, This acorn fell from an oak tree. Now, if this acorn does not get eaten, it might turn into an oak tree eventually. Um, this squirrel found an acorn on the ground. And I would have to say, that squirrel is probably not hangry anymore. That squirrel has an acorn in his or her belly. Yum, yum. Page 8 and page 9. Chapter 2. A new oak tree grows. A few months after the acorn falls, roots begin to grow. The roots grow into the ground. Next, a stem grows from the acorn. acorn. Leaves grow from the stem during the first year. Now the oak tree is a sapling. Let's take a look on page 8 and look at this picture. Do you know what these white hair looking things are called? They're called roots. And that's what this word says here. R-O-O-T-S. Roots. Now, when you see a word on a picture... And then if, if there's like little lines pointing to something, that's called a label. That means you're labeling something. So uh, in this picture, the roots are labeled. Down here at the caption, it says, Roots grow if the acorn stays moist and cool. Did you know that if you actually have an acorn and you like keep it in a moist, like a wet, dark place, it will also grow. One way to do this is get like a wet paper towel put the acorn in the wet paper towel, put it in a Ziploc bag, close it tight, put it away in a cabinet for like a week, then go back and look for yourself. You will start to see something that looks just like this. Now on page 9, it says this sapling is just a few has just a few leaves. Um, right here you have the leaves, and right here this word says stem. It's pointing to the stem. A plant fact is an oak tree is a set is a seedling before it is a sapling. So this would be a seedling and this would be a sapling. Can you tell the difference? I'm going to guess the difference between a seedling and a sapling would be that a seedling probably just has like roots and it's just starting to grow where a sapling actually has some true leaves on it. Look at those leaves on it. Very good. Let's go ahead and move on to pages 10 and 11. We're still in chapter 2. Slowly the oak tree becomes larger. At last the stem becomes a thick, strong trunk. Flowers grow on the oak tree and then the flowers become acorns. What will happen to these acorns? Take a look at this picture on page 10. Here we have something called a trunk. That's what that word says. And this is a stem. Can you tell the difference between a trunk and a stem? If I were to guess, I would probably say the difference between a trunk and a stem Remember when we say difference, like how are they different, is a stem looks a lot tinier than a trunk. A tree trunk could probably support a ton more weight than a stem could, okay? A stem is going to just hold up a couple leaves. A tree trunk is going to be able to hold uh, leaves, branches, fruits, nuts, berries, whatever it is, okay? Page 11. Now this shows you a picture of an oak tree flower up close. And eventually those flowers become acorns. Now down here in this box it says sequence of events. This book shows a sequence or order of events. Find the words at last. These words help you understand the sequence. What other words in this book help you understand the sequence? So yeah, right, let's see, right here it said at last the stem becomes a thick strong trunk. Usually when you hear that word, at last, that means you're in the final stage of something. Let's go ahead and move on to pages 12 and 13. Chapter 3. An old oak tree dies. After dropping acorns for many years, the oak tree finally dies. An oak tree can live for hundreds of years. What? 
Can you see oak trees where you live? Now on page 12, look at this picture. It says, finally the oak tree dies. So this is a large tree, which means it's been around for a long time. And like they said, it can live for hundreds of years. That means your great, 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 great grandmother or grandfather could have been hanging out underneath this oak tree right here. Isn't that crazy? It is. Now, this oak tree is about 1,500 years old. Whoa, talk about old. Yikes. This one here says, this new, this new oak tree grows into a forest. Now, look at this little oak tree. You see the roots down here. There's the acorn where the acorn originally started. And then you have this. What's it called when you just have a couple leaves? A sapling. That's right. And conclusion. We're on pages 14 and 15. An oak tree is a plant that changes and grows. An oak tree has a life cycle. Let's look at that life cycle right now. We're going to actually go to the next page because I have it even larger for you. Here's the life cycle of an oak tree. So first they start out as acorns. If you're a squirrel, this might look like a tasty lunch. But for us humans, we're going to let it be. So you have the acorns and then... Eventually, the acorns get moist, and uh, that means they're, they're wet, and they might be in a dark place, and they start to develop things called roots. The roots are here, and then you'll start seeing a little stem shoot up. Let's move on. And then the stem right here, and then some leaves. That's when it's called a sapling. And then eventually, that sapling grows up to be a full-grown oak tree. And when the oak tree is fully grown, it produces flowers and the flowers then make the acorns and it starts all the way over again. The glossary. The glossary is going to give us some words that we talked about in the book and it's going to give us definitions which means it's going to tell us what those words mean. So the word life cycle was found on page four. Life cycle, the order of how a living thing changes as it grows. Uh, the word plants was used in this book, and you can see right here it says, see page four for plants. Plants, living things that make their own food and stay in one place as they grow. Roots, see page eight. Uh, the cool thing about a glossary is, not only does it tell you what a word means, but it tells you where to find that word, um, which I think is actually pretty cool. Roots, parts of plants that are usually under the ground. Huh. That means usually under the ground. That means there's some plants whose roots are not under the ground. Hmm. Do you know of any plants whose roots might not be under the ground that you can see? Hmm. I might have to do some more research about this. Seeds. Parts of plants that grow into new plants. And it says see page six if you want to learn more about those. Stems. Parts of plants that carry water and nutrients. See page 9. Trunk, the stem of a grown tree. See page 10. So, stems and trunks, they do the same thing, except for a trunk is the stem of a grown tree. It's going to maybe even have some bark on it to protect it, whereas just a regular old stem of a sapling might be real flimsy and wobbly wobble. Down here is the index, and the index also tells you where important keywords are and what page those are found. For example, the word acorn. If you're trying to find out about acorns, you can look on pages 6 and 11. Um, flowers, the word flower pops up on page 11. Leaves on page 9. The word life cycle comes up on page 4 and page 14. Oak tree comes up on page 5 and 9, but really this whole book is about oak trees, right? Um, the word plants, plants comes up on pages 4 and 14, roots on page 8, seeds on page 6, stems on page 9, and trunk on page 10. Um, over here, oh, this is what I was talking about earlier. It says observe seed sprouts. This is a science experiment you can do at home. Um, so what you'll need, it says here you need a lima bean seed, but really you can take any bean 
seed or any kind of seed really a sunflower seed whatever you need a sandwich sized plastic bag um, it says here you need a cotton ball water and tape you really don't need a cotton ball you can just wad up a piece of like paper towel and get it wet okay and it says what to do number one write your name on a bag number two put a slightly damp cotton ball into the bag like I said you can also use like a little napkin or something number three put a lima bean seed next to the cotton ball and close the bag. Remember, you don't have to use a lima bean seed. It can be a sunflower seed. It can be an acorn, whatever you want to use, whatever seed. I promise it's going to work. Number four, tape the bag to a sunny window. Hmm. Another experiment would be to take that bag, uh, not in a sunny spot, but actually put the bag in a dark spot too. You could have two different experiments. Which one grows faster? Okay, cool. Well, Boys and girls, we're done with our book today, and I hope you had as much fun reading with me as I had with you. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.